Hey everybody, Greg Murphy here. I am at the Southern Hemisphere Proving Ground, about 50 k's out of Queenstown, up in the wonderful Katrona Valley. And we've been doing some ice driving today, me and all the other HSV boys, having some fun with some very lucky customers, skidding some hot HS HSVs around the snow and ice. It has just been sensational. Now, you guys have sent us a few questions for me to answer, and I'm gonna start with some personal ones. Uh, Damien asked, do you YouTube your lap of the gods? I know I have watched it a lot, Great effort, hey thanks mate. Um, I don't know if I go on YouTube that much, but I have got it on a file in my computer and um, I use it a little bit for some of the speaking gigs that I do, so I do pull it out occasionally and just have a little bit of a look, so um, I'd be lying if I said I don't, so it's, it's, it was a special moment and um, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Uh, Ian Thompson writes, when's Bazza making a comeback? When's Barry Ford gonna make a comeback? I was hoping he's gonna make a comeback this, uh, today here at, um, at uh, Cadrona, but um, he hasn't ventured out just yet. Um, but we are thinking about a time and a place to make it just right to uh, see Barry appear again, so just watch this space. Uh, Brent Milton, in your racing career, which model race car is your favourite? Uh, I suppose based on one of the answers to my question before about uh, Bathurst 2003, I'd say you know the, the Kmart Commodore that year was, um, was pretty special to VY, so uh, I was uh, pretty happy with that model race car and how good it was and it delivered some great success for myself and, and also Rick Kelly and the Kmart racing team. So probably go back to when the most successful time was, I reckon. Uh, David King, what's your daily driver and do you have anything special in your garage? My daily driver's actually been used here today. My HSV uh, GDS is floating around here somewhere getting the living lights thrashed out of it by a whole bunch of people having some fun. Um, and in my garage at home, I've got a couple of things. I've got a, a C10 Chevy truck, a 1971 version of that, which is pretty awesome. And uh, I've also got um, a bit of a, a Dodge Charger, 69 Dodge Charger that's going through a bit of a hot rotting at the moment in, uh, here in Auckland. Uh, Jenny Garland asks, looking back on your career, what is one of, one of the moments that you are the most proudest of and the moment that you would wish you could have done differently? Uh, we'll start with the differently one. Maybe back in 05 at Bathurst, uh, probably, you know, if I could have done the, uh, the little incident with Marcus Ambrose a little bit differently, I might have done that. Um, then again, I might not have. Uh, and then uh, my proudest moment, you know, how did he go past winning Bathurst? It was incredibly special, very proud, but also, I suppose the Puka Kelly wins um, through the, the Kmart years and the, and the super cheap years, um, you know, winning at home in front of a, a home crowd was, was pretty awesome too. The feeling there was, was really, really special. Um, next, uh, Bianca asks, are you enjoying the change in pace from being a racer to on-track commentator? Um, it's really different, you know, I miss the competition, there's no question about it. I miss uh, that hard racing and, and dicing against guys that uh, you know you've got a lot of respect for and do an amazing job on the track. So I miss that competition side, no question about it, but um, there's also bits that you don't miss and that, you know, being uncompetitive and not being able to actually achieve what you want, I don't, um, I'm not missing, you know, being in that situation. Um, and, you know, the commentary thing is working great, I, well, I hope it is, I think it is. Um, it's a good opportunity to be a part of, of that and moving and staying involved in the sport um, while looking at it from a totally different viewpoint. Um, Neil asks, the final one of the personal questions, how close did you get to punching Ambrose at Bathurst? <laughs> um, not very close, mate. You know, that was just an emotional time and the both of us were pretty angry and disappointed and wanted to blame each other and all those kinds of things. So it was, it was a heated situation that um, I think we both would uh, prefer not happen. We could have finished that race and potentially ended up on the podium that day. So uh, one of those things you're gonna move on from. Hey, thanks for those questions. Really appreciate it, guys. And as I said, um, we've been having a great time here in Padrona at uh, the Southern Hemisphere Proving Ground, um, having some fun in the snow with some HSVs, and we'll catch you next time. I just want one.